This video contains footage from a product in development and is not reflective of the final product. Things like gameplay, content, tuning, assets, and player ratings may differ in FIFA 23. Hello, what's up ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a FIFA 23 Ultimate Team video. Today, we're gonna have a little look at the new chemistry system. So, I'm gonna go through basically how chemistry works, how you attain chemistry here, on FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, and ever some ever so slight changes, some redefined chemistry uh, in the way it's gonna be for when the game drops at launch. Uh, if you do enjoy, do me a favor today and hit the thumbs up button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for lots of FIFA 23 content coming real soon. There's probably already some on my channel that you should go and check out as well. So the first major change from previous FIFAs to FIFA 23 in terms of chemistry is that, well, overall squad chemistry has been removed and positional links have been removed. So we no longer have those green lines, those orange lines, those red lines, which define how a player gets their chemistry. And we don't have 100 chemistry anymore. We're not looking to build on the team chemistry. We are focusing purely on building the maximum chemistry for each individual player in our starting 11. The players can earn up to three chemistry points on FIFA 23 by having players of the same like nation, league, club in your starting 11. Like I mentioned, those positional links have been completely and utterly removed. So your players can now actually link regardless of where they are on the pitch, regardless of that position on the pitch. So for example, two players that are, you know, let's say in the Premier League for Liverpool, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Andy Robertson, you know, a left back and a right back, different nations, same club. You're never gonna get them on previous FIFAs to link up together on full chemistry. But on FIFA 23, those two can be in the same team and if you've got the right amount of other players from different nations, leagues, uh, etc., in your club, then they will get the three chemistry points. And that to me makes more sense because let's face it, in real life, they play for the same team and they should get a good chemistry with each other. It's also worth noting that uh, a couple of things have been sort of removed. So loyalty system, that's no longer in the game. That sort of stuff really helped towards the team chem, the overall 100 chem on previous games. Whereas nowadays, it's all about the three individual chemistry points for each individual player. EA have also now removed any negative impact to a player's attributes caused by, you know, that player being on low chemistry. What that means is that, you know, in a previous FIFA, let's say you had a full Premier League squad and they were all English and then you put Lionel Messi in the left wing spot. So he's out of position and he's got no chemistry links with anyone. He'd probably be playing on like one or two chemistry. It's pretty awful. And his, his stats, when you take a look at the player bio, would literally... Be playing, he'd be playing worse than what his face stats actually show. He'd be getting negative impact uh, because of his low chemistry. Um, whereas now, if you were to do that, he would be on zero chem, all right? And that might sound drastic, but actually, he would just play to his base stats. There are no negative impacts to attributes caused by low chem. So he might have an exclamation mark next to his name and not be in the right position and not actually linked to anyone, but he will still play with Lionel Messi base stats. All right, which is actually really quite cool. Um, and yeah, you might need to put him into position and, and get him to start linking to players if you want uh, chemistry style boosts to start happening to him. You know, the extras, the boosts on top of it. But let's face it, a Lionel Messi is a Lionel Messi. So I'm going to talk through a few numbers now on how to actually gain and, and get chemistry for your players. Uh, in order to get one chemistry for a player, one, one notch of chemistry out of three, uh, you need two players from the same club in your starting 11, or two players of the same nationality, or three players from the same league. Um, in order to bump that one up to, to two chemistry and get the, the bonuses of that, it can either be four players from the same club, five players from the same nationality, or five players from the same league. And then if you want all three chem on that player or on all of those players, seven players from one club, eight players from the same nationality, and eight players from the same league. Now, that might sound fairly drastic, but it's actually quite easy to 
comprehend and, and, and get behind as you're building squads because, you know, you'll end up having certain players from the same league. You'll have a few players from the same league. A couple of uh, players from different leagues will probably be the same nation as what you've currently got in your sort of starting 11 already. And chemistry will just sort of build itself. So let's take a couple of players, for example. Kylian Mbappe and Kim Pembe. Two Frenchmen for PSG in Ligue 1. All right? The way that the old chemistry system would have worked, if you wanted to link them two together, and that would be a perfect link, of course, uh, you would have to move position modifier uh, Mbappe all the way down from striker to centre forward to cam to centre mid to CDM or whatever it may be for your formation. It's not very uh, realistic or intuitive. So they'll now get that perfect link to each other. They'll benefit chemistry wise from being French and from PSG as they should have chemistry. Um, so essentially what you've got there is two PSG players. Well, that's going to, of course, give one notch of chemistry to each one of those players uh, because they fulfilled the first criteria, you know, of two players from the same club. But, of course, they're both also French. So that's also going to get the first notch for France. You know, two players from France equals one notch of chemistry. I know on screen uh, you might see that three players from the same nation would get that first notch of chemistry. That's where EA have changed it and made it a little bit easier for us to understand, of course, um, for the launch of the game. Uh, and, of course, just make it a little easier and, 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 and refine that chemistry for better purposes. And then, well, you'll have two out of three of the first notch for both of those players playing in League 1. So all you need is any other player from League 1 to boost... Both Mbappe and Kim Pembe can be any player from Ligue 1 that is not French, not playing for PSG. It will get you your third player from that league. And that player will be on one chem if they're not French from PSG. And then Mbappe and Kim Pembe will both be on three chemistry. All right. So that's how it would work. They would then essentially have their chemistry blip from PSG, from France, and from Ligue 1 being on three chem. And then you can work the rest of your team around that, try and get that other player up on chemistry, maybe some other players from uh, the same league or from uh, from the same nations, but from different leagues, etc., etc. The other two little areas I wanted to talk about were about chemistry styles and how chem works like in-game when it comes to you changing your tactics and whatnot and also bringing on substitutions. So first off, chemistry styles. If you play a player on zero chemistry, they will play to the stats that are shown in their in-game stats, all right? Which is, you know, if you've got someone like a Cristiano Ronaldo, a Lionel Messi, a Neymar, a Mbappe, whatever, very good. Still going to be a class player on this game. Probably much better than quite a lot of the other players on this game. Uh, and then if you have them on one chemistry or two chemistry or three chemistry, they will get boosts in certain areas, depending on what chem style you're using. So yes, you, as much as there is no negative really of, of, of using a player on zero chem, uh, they can get a positive impact if you were to put them on as much chemistry as possible, because of course they can then take advantage of the boosts from being on a higher level of chem. And there's a whole bunch of graphs of uh, showing you which chemistry styles add which numbers to certain players based on chemistry. I'll leave a link down below to the pitch notes where you guys can find out more. Um, but essentially, yeah, there's just a, a whole a whole load of numbers that you can look at uh, to see, you know, how let's, for example, say Mbappe with an engine chemistry style on 0, 1, 2 and 3 chem, how much difference it would make for the player's stats. And on to the next topic then. So if you get into a game of fuck. Uh, your match has started, any changes made via your team management to like your formation, uh, where players are on the pitch and stuff, nothing will, it won't affect the chemistry that they've gone into the game with. So, you know, you start with a, a three chem Mbappe, you decide, actually, I'm going to play him at right mid in this game. Um, when you change your custom tactics, he'll still play at full chem, uh, of course. Uh, and then substitutions, if you bring anyone on, they'll just play on that zero chem. Um, that's essentially the same as FIFA 22 uh, or previous FIFA, should I say, where a player would play on five chemistry, aka basically base stats. Um, so you won't get your chemistry boost from substitutions. But I don't know if you really should do either because they're, they're not really working around chemistry, are they? They are just there to make an impact based on fitness and stats that they've got on how your match is going. There you go. There's a little rundown on chemistry in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. Uh, if you found this video useful, if you've learned a little bit or it now makes a little bit more sense to you, um, thank you. Uh, I, I, you know, that's awesome. And uh, if you could show your appreciation by 
supporting the video, smashing a thumbs up, that'd be brilliant. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Try and drill that one into you. Let's get loads and loads of new people watching the content for FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. Uh, thanks once again to EA for the opportunity to make this video. And uh, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back with more FIFA 23 content. Check out my channel because there's probably already stuff there that you want to watch. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Peace.